All right, guys, this is the snapper yesterday that bit through my finger nail. Look at their teeth on that. Bit through my finger right there. <laughs> Did a little bit of damage on the other side. So we decided to keep him whole. We're going to fry him up. Going to use a little bit of Jamaican seasoning. Dust up a little cornstarch. First thing we're going to do, take some of these pins down a little bit. This one's a little picky. If you can see them spikes on there, you don't really want to be getting those anywhere near your mouth. And we're going to do a little scoring first. Trying to get down to the bone, but not through the bone. Deal. You guys didn't see us clean the fish yesterday because we got back to the marina and it was pouring on us. So we cleaned fish in the rain, which I'm sure everybody's done once or twice. for that seasoning to get into. Can pull it on the cavity too. There's not a lot that's probably gonna stay in there, but should be good. Also, that one of the red snapper we caught, we always take the collars and stuff off. So I'm going to fry some of that up too. I've already taken the scales off. So first time I'm going to try to fry them. We usually smoke this and make fish dip out of it, but we give it a little try this way. on there and get this mess cleaned up and get the oil going.
This is the snapper that bit down on my finger yesterday, went right through my fingernail. We also uh, deep fried up some collars too. Those are gonna be yummy. All right, deep fried. Whole snapper. Oh yeah. Look at that. It's gonna be hot. Oil. Crunchy skin, good seasoning. That's so good. Look at that. This is a lot more tender. Not sure why my camera keeps shutting off, but that's the American Red Snapper. Took all the skin off, or took all the uh, scales off. Oh wow, that seasoning was really good on there. The Jamaican seasoning, yummy.